Here we have an Asus laptop that came in for no power. This Asus laptop is dead. It does not power on, no signs of life, no lights, no fan spin, nothing. We already disassembled the board right here. And let's take a look. We're going to go over to the drain on this MOSFET. And we have a short. A short here is most likely a problem with our V-Core circuit. And how do I know that? It's all based on my experience working on Asus laptops. After a while, you start to detect a pattern on what is wrong with those boards. But I could be wrong. You cannot get this information from anywhere else except from this video, of course. But I could be wrong. The problem may not be the V-Core circuit. Now, if we go down here to check out the V-Core circuit, looks like we found gold. I've been digging for gold my whole life, and it looks like I just found it. What's this? What in the world is this? A gold thermal paste? Everywhere. Is it even conductive? Let me see. We need to know if gold is conductive. Is it conductive? I do not see this as being conductive. Maybe glitter spilled on the laptop or... I do not know how this got on the motherboard. And it's not conductive, so that's good. That's good. We got that out of the way. Let's inject voltage at the drain and see what gets hot on the board. We're going to monitor the board under a thermal camera and see if we can figure this out. Now, two options. We either have a problem with the V-Core circuit where we can replace a MOSFET and the problem is fixed, or we have a dead CPU. Anytime you have a problem with the V-Core circuit, the CPU can possibly get a higher voltage than what it can handle, and it goes bad. So one of the two, either a CPU problem or we have a V-Core MOSFET problem. Or it could be something else, but I'm just basing this off my experience working on Asus laptops without going back and forth, without testing anything on the board. I'm just going straight for the kill, like I always do. Switch over to the thermal camera and let's inject voltage and see what happens. I expect to see a heat spot somewhere on the board. If the CPU heat up and nothing else, it could be that we either have a faulty CPU or we have a bad MOSFET. So let's see. One, two, and three. And the amp meter is drawing zero amps. Why? Let me make sure everything is connected properly. <laughs> I'm injecting voltage with my multimeter probe and not with the other probe, the voltage injection probe. Let's try again. One, two, and three. And now we have a three amp draw. The CPU is getting hot. Oh, wait a minute. It's the GPU that is getting hot and not the CPU. GPU. I noticed something getting hot right over here. Watch. Let's do this again. See? Something is getting hot right over here. Let's take a look one more time. We may have something here. It could be a DR mouse for the video card that's causing this. One more time. Yeah, something is getting hot right over here. I saw a tiny bit of heat coming from here. Possibly this chip. Possibly. I want to flip the board and see what's going on on back of the board. Same exact location. And I see nothing except for some capacitors on the back.
Maybe we should inject voltage and monitor back of the board and see if there's anything obvious on back of the board. Maybe it's a shorted capacitor. Let's do that. Let's inject voltage and monitor back of the board under a thermal camera. And I see nothing hot on back of the board. GPU is the only thing hot. So the problem is not coming from back of the board. It's probably one of the DR MOSFETs. And possibly the second one. Possibly this one here. All right, so let's take a shot in the dark and remove this guy here and see what happens. Are we feeling lucky today? We'll see. Let's put it right here. Now we're going to see, do we still have a short? We have to wait for the board to cool down a bit because if the board is hot, you may end up with the wrong reading. And do we still have a short? That's the question. How optimistic are you? Let me know. Leave it down in the comments. One and two and three. Let's make it four and four. And the short is gone. <laughs> the short is gone. I'm currently in ohms mode. Let me go to diet mode so we can hear that beep. We are feeling lucky today. Look at this. 0 0.34 voltage drop. 0 0.35. 0 0.355. And it's going up. Okay? So the short is gone. We were able to pinpoint the exact component without wasting a lot of time, without doing any measurements at all. We did not measure anything on the board. Just common sense, experience, and the help of the thermal camera. And even the thermal camera only showed us a tiny heat spot, but we went for the kill. We went straight for that component, removed it, and the short is gone. Now all we have to do is locate a similar component because I do not think that I have this component in stock. I do not believe I have it in stock, but we can look at donor boards and see if we can get it. Like this one here. We have it. We have it. Let's grab one from here. I love donor boards. I love not having to waste time and order and wait. Every time I need a component, I have to order it. Sometimes you have to order from China. And that's why we stock everything here. So to make it easier for you, anything that you need, just log into Northridge Fix and buy it from there, all from one shop. Add whatever you need to the shopping cart check out place the order and we ship out the same day i always try to make as many chips available to you as possible i'm talking about useful chips if i want to carry every chip in the world then that's not going to be possible but i carry the useful chips like this one here i do not have it in stock what we're going to do now is we're going to contact the factory we're going to order a large batch and then we're going to make it available for you so you can log in to our site and order it this is the good ship, and the gold one is the bad ship. You see, we're able to tell that this is the bad one because of the gold. So gold is useful, very useful. Let's prep the pads, and then we're going to figure out the orientation. Solder, give it to Big Boss, test, work in, invoice, send to customer. Get paid and then send to customer. Very important step. Now the thing is, replacing this component does not guarantee that this board is going to work. We do not know if the GPU made it or if it suffered any damage because of that short. All right, now we need to figure out the orientation. 
And we can do that by flipping the chip, looking on the back, and the chip has to go like this. Not diagonally, but like this. Let's do it. How long did it take to find the problem and replace the chip? It doesn't matter. As long as we fix it for the customer, we are still charging the same price. It's about fixing the device and not about how long it took. Somebody without experience, it can take him five hours to figure out the problem. But it took us a few minutes. Solder balls for decoration. But since we're going to get somebody that will complain about those solder balls, let's remove them. Make everything nice and factory-like. No, who said factory-like? Better than factory. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We're done. That's it. Let's clean up. Right now I'm tilting the board so we can see what's going on here. And the soldering is perfect. Very nice. Let's go ahead and check for a short again. Make sure that we do not have a short after replacing this chip. What if that chip that we took off the donor board is also short into ground? Is that possible? Yes, it's possible. But what are the chances? What are the chances that we have a shorted MOSFET on the donor board and the one that we picked specifically is the one that is short into ground? What are the statistics? We have how many? One, two, three, four, five components. What are the chances statistics-wise? Are you good in statistics? Let me know. Leave it down in the comments. We are getting a 0 0.8 voltage drop and we're done. We are done. We are going to reassemble and I'll be back to finish the video. Big Boss is almost done with the reassembly of the laptop. And let's see. Lights? Yes? No? Yes. I do not see a light. Where? Where? I don't see it. One minute. Oh, oh, here. Yeah. It's on. But we want to see something on the screen. We do not want to see a black screen. Yes, yes, the laptop is working, the laptop is working, Big Boss and his magic hands, thank you Big Boss, yeah, yeah. thank you, thank you, boss of all bosses, as always. That's it, we're going to end the video right here, I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.